In this video, I'm going to give you 12 year-end financial planning tips for 2020. Let's get started. Hey there, this is Patrick King with Prana Wealth. And on this channel, we help you build your wealth faster so you can make work optional sooner. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. With the holidays approaching, the end of the year can be a busy time. However, it's also an important time to focus on your finances. Here are 12 year-end financial planning tips to help you start the new year right. Of course, please be sure to consult with your financial advisor or CPA to see if these tips apply to your specific situation. Number one, review your retirement savings. While there's not a lot of time left to contribute to your 401k, you still have time to contribute toward an IRA or Roth IRA if you're eligible. You can contribute up to $6,000 or up to $7,000 if you're over age 50 to an IRA or Roth IRA. The good news is that you have until April 15th of next year to make the contribution, so you don't have to rush. Number two, check your RMDs. In a normal year, you'll need to take an annual required minimum distribution from your retirement account if you've reached the requisite age or have an inherited IRA. Well, of course, 2020 is not a normal year. The CARES Act suspends RMDs this year. Number three, check for tax loss harvesting. If you expect to have capital gains in your portfolio, you may wanna see if there are any investments that are currently at a loss. You can sell these investments in order to offset any capital gains. This is known as tax loss harvesting and can be useful during your year-end portfolio rebalancing. Again, 2020 is an unusual year. Based on what we've seen, there may not be many opportunities for this strategy. Number four, rebalance your 401k. Speaking of rebalancing, the end of the year is a great time to go back and review your company retirement plan. First, you should review your investment choices to ensure your options haven't changed. Funds can be replaced over the course of a year. Once you've reviewed your investment options, check your asset allocation. Are you taking too much risk or not enough? Rebalance your holdings to your desired allocation. Some funds will have gone up and down over the course of the last year, so rebalancing allows you to reset the overall risk in your portfolio. Number five, consider a Roth IRA conversion. A Roth IRA conversion may be a good idea if a couple of scenarios exist. First, if your income is lower than it would be normally in any given year, then talk to your CPA to determine how much of your IRA that you can convert and still stay in the same tax bracket. Another condition that lends itself to a year-end Roth IRA conversion is a dip in the markets. It doesn't look like that's going to happen in 2020. But in years where there is a pullback in asset prices, making a Roth IRA conversion will allow you to convert more while paying less in taxes. Be sure and check out my prior video on Roth IRA conversions. Number six, consider a charitable donation. If you already give to causes that are important to you, you may have the ability to lower your taxes. Because the standard deduction was increased back in 2017, fewer people itemize these days. If you don't itemize, this strategy will not work for you, so check with your CPA. But if you've had a year with higher than normal income, a donor advised fund may be a great way to front load several years worth of charitable giving and get a great tax deduction as well. Check out my last video about donor advised funds for more information. Even if there's no tax benefit, I would encourage you to consider contributing to a good cause. Number seven, review your beneficiary designations. Next in our list of year-end financial planning tips, it's a good practice to review your life insurance policies and retirement accounts to ensure your beneficiary designations are just the way you want them. A lot can happen in a year. Who knows, you might wanna cut someone out of an inheritance. Number eight, check your tax withholding. If you have time to sit down with your CPA, ask about your annual tax withholding and confirm that you're not over or underpaying each month. Number nine, take advantage of your HSA. Just like putting money away into your IRA, you have another chance to save money and defer taxes with an HSA. 
Single filers can save up to $3,550, and joint filers can save up to $7,100. If you're over age 55, then add another $1,000 to that. Just like an IRA contribution, you have until April 15th to make the contribution. What's great about an HSA is that once you turn 65, it essentially becomes an IRA. What a great way to save a little bit more towards retirement, right? Number 10, spend your FSA money. If you're participating in an FSA, start spending that money now. While you may be able to roll as much as 550 bucks over to next year, depending on your employer, these funds exist on a use it or lose it basis. So make a plan to visit the drugstore and stock up. Number 11, check your credit report. Once a year, make it part of your routine to go check your credit report. Go to annualcreditreport.com for the free government mandated credit reports from all three of the major credit reporting agencies. Make sure everything looks correct and no new or unusual accounts are listed there. Don't forget to dispute anything that doesn't look right. Number 12, make your 2021 resolutions. Finally, get started on making your 2021 financial resolutions. My advice here is to pick only one and focus on it. Do you need to start reducing your debt? Do you need to increase your retirement savings? It could be tempted to try and do too much at once. Instead, pick one goal and focus on creating a process to get it done. If you need help with any of these year-end financial planning tips, or if you need help getting your finances on track in the new year, then visit us at pranawealth.com to see if we are potentially a good fit. We do still have the capacity to take on new clients. As a fee-only financial advisor in Atlanta, we can and do work virtually with clients all across the US. And we're here to help you when you're ready. Hey, if you found this video helpful, please help me grow my channel by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.